All right, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Unturned. Today we're gonna do something a bit different. Today we're not gonna play the game. Today we're gonna do a tier list. A tier list where basically I would give you guys my honest thoughts on most of the Unturned maps. Today we have all of the official maps and most of the curated. I think all of the curated are here. I am not 100% sure. If I missed one, just let me know in the comment section below and I don't know, I'll give you a rating there, okay? Um, so yeah, so we have almost all of the arena maps, the curated arena maps, for example, but I didn't put in for like PI arena or Washington arena because I don't really think that they, you know, they would need to be separate. I will just let you guys know. And uh, yeah, we have the updated one. We have all the maps until Elver. I don't know when you guys would be watching this. Maybe new maps will come out or blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, we have until Elver. Okay. So yeah, if you guys are new, I'd appreciate if you guys subscribe, drop a like, breach. I don't know, we reach 80 likes, I will do one, the same one like this, but with guns. And uh, yeah, let's just let's just start. Okay, so first map we have over here is Alpha Valley. Now Alpha Valley is the current most popular arena map in my opinion. I think that's the only arena map that is actually still played. And I like it, I play on this map a lot. Like it's, the, it's my go-to arena map since nobody really plays any other map. That That's basically why as well. Um, so I put this at 8 and 9, by the way, 8 and 9. Alright, next, we have Athens Arena. Now, Athens Arena is a curated um, curated arena map, which is one of my favorite arena maps, if not my favorite arena map, so that will definitely go in 10. I love that map, I love how everything was, I love the style and the texture of even the buildings and all of that. Athens Arena is 100% my favorite arena map. So next, this is Belgium. Now, Belgium is a... Um, it's one of the maps that, like, I didn't really get to play. A lot of people would say that this map is nice, but for me personally, it felt like a normal uh, map. For me, it felt like Russia, but upside down, if that makes sense. Um, from, for example, Russia, water is down here, Belgium water is up. If that, if you guys understand what I am saying. So, Belgium, I'll probably put that 5 to 7. I'll probably give that a solid 6. Uh, it's not my, it's not, I didn't really play that map that much either, because... This map didn't really stay alive for too long, unfortunately. So yeah, we'll put that 5 to 7. Next we have Bunkerina. Now Bunkerina is, is, uh, came out before Athens Arena, by the way. And this was when items were introduced as soon as you spawn. Not kits or, you know, those kind of servers. Where, you know, you would just spawn in with items. Everybody would spawn in with the same items almost. Like a selection of four weapons. If I remember correctly, they were all ranger weapons. And yeah, Bunker Arena was like one of the first different arena experiences that I had. Um, so I'll put that in 10. As, actually, I'll put that in 8 to 9 just because it wasn't as good as Athens. But it was really good because, you know, it was a new style of arena, if that makes sense. Next, this map is California. Um, this is also like Belgium, I feel like. I didn't really play this map much because it's a large map with that not, not that much people actually play it. So I'll put that in 5 to 7. It wasn't that bad. But it wasn't anything, like, it wasn't anything special, if that makes sense. If I remember correctly, there was late. I'm not sure if it was on color, never mind, no, it wasn't. Never mind, I forgot which map laser guns are introduced. I don't, I don't really remember. And all that on the Belgium, there was the acid gun. I forgot which made the, the laser guns. Anyway, Canyon Arena, Canyon Arena is also one of those maps which came out like Athens Arena and Bunker Arena with like items spawning in. Put that 8 to 9. This one had different weapons. It didn't have normal vanilla weapons. They were all like modded. I remember there was the TNT which I really liked and I put that a solid 8 to 9. Next, what is this? This is Carpat, right? Carpat, um, <laughs> I don't know. People would think that this map is fun for me. I didn't really enjoy it. Um, I know it was meant to give a new feeling to Uncertain Survival but for me it just felt like it wasn't fun, you know, it just felt that I didn't enjoy it at all. And yeah, I'll put that in terrible. Okay, next we have Cyprus. This is Cyprus. Uh, there's also an arena map to it. I prefer the arena map than the actual survival map for some reason. I do not know why. And I'll put that to 1 to 5. It's nothing too special, it's just a plain arena map with nothing really special into it. You know, you know what I mean? So I'll put that 1 to 5. Next we have Dango. Dango I'll put that 5 to 7. It was a fun thing when it came out. And I didn't really play it that much though to be honest. I didn't really play it Unturned when Dango came out. But I did check out to it. I did watch some videos into it. And it seemed fun. 
So I'll put that five to seven, maybe it would be like even eight to nine, but we'll put that five to seven just because I don't really have that much experience. Next, we have Easter Island. Easter Island is probably one of my favorite curated maps to come out. I don't know why, it's just that the feeling that it gave and the quests into it as well and the fact that you could explore into a volcano. I really, really like that. I really like that. Uh, one of my favorite maps, we'll put that eight to nine. Okay, Alver 10, 100%. Just the fact that, you know, how it is, the, all of the new items that were added, the new fact that you could build with new items, the quests are nice. I love it. I love Elver. Probably my favorite map currently. So I'll put that in 10. Next, this is France. France is not that bad of a map. I'll put that probably 5 to 7 or 8 to 9. Put it 5 to 7. Like top of 5 to 7. It would be probably 7.5. Um, I liked it. The only downside to it is that it's kind of unoptimized for me. Uh, I love the fact that there are two dead zones in it as well. I'd actually put it there. I'll put it there. I like the fact that there were two dead zones in it, so like you can't, you know, you can't just camp on dead zone, I guess. And yeah, I liked it. I liked the Eiffel Tower especially. But yeah, the, um, the fact that it wasn't really that optimized kind of gave it a suck. And uh, I really like the flamethrower as well. I remember flamethrower was added here. I liked it. I liked it. All right, so Germany, kind of the same thing. Um, this is official. This is an official map. Uh, I actually like this map, I'll put that 8, I'll probably even put that 10. It sucks that, like, the only downside to it as well as France is that the unoptimization. You get really, really low FPS, especially when you're in, like, the main city. But I really like this map, I like the uh, the quarry, I like the castle, I like this map. People think that this map is bad, but for me, I love the Germany. Alright, so next, after Germany, we have Greece. Greece isn't that bad of a map, I'll put that 5 to 7, it's just that the only like downside to it is that there's a lot of empty space, which I guess it's kind of can be used for like building bases, but I think that that's why people don't really like this map, is because that there's a lot of open space, but it's, it's not terrible, like it's definitely better than Cyprus for me. So yeah, we'll put that 5 to 7. Next, we have Hawaii. Hawaii isn't that bad of a map, I'll put that 8 to 9 as well. I liked it. I liked it when it came out. I really had a good time playing this map. I like the underwater atmosphere that it gave as well. So yeah, we'll put Hawaii over there. Next we have Monolith. Monolith is actually the first arena map that I have ever played. And I would put that 1 to 5 though. Just because I don't know, I didn't really like it. It felt boring after a while. That's why I kind of I switched to Alpha Valley. But it's not like once in a while you could go back into it and you know run in trees all the time. <laughs> So yeah, we'll put Monolith over there. Paintball, you know, nothing really to say about it. Um, 1 to 5, or maybe 5 to 7. We'll put it 5 to 7, just because that was like a new mode, you know, just Paintball Arena. And uh, yeah, we'll put that there. Next, we have PI. PI will go in a 10. This is my favorite map. This is the map that I always play whenever I want to play Unturned. It's, you know, it's the, it's the OG map. You know, it's the original map. Nothing really else to say about it. I like it. Next, what, this is Rio, right? Is it Rio? Yeah, it's Rio. I, I never played this map, let's just say that. I didn't play this map. When it came out, I checked it out for like 10 minutes and I just thought that it was just another curated map that will die in a week. And yeah, I didn't really play this map, so I'll just give it a 1 to 5. It's probably like, I probably thought of it wrong. It's probably a really good map. It's just that for me, it felt like a normal map, like France, Greece, Russia, even... Eliminate Russia from that actually, Russia is good. But just felt like a map that will die out after a while. Um, so I didn't really play it. So Rio will go there for now. Next we have Russia, Russia 10, my favorite large map. It's really, really good. Even the way that the loot is distributed along the map, everybody spawns at the bottom and you make your way up to higher and better gear. And uh, I loved it. I loved Russia. One of some of my favorite moments of playing on turn are on Russia. So I'll put Russia on 10. Next we have Washington. Washington will be 8 to 9, probably a 9, I'll give it a 9, but not 10. Definitely not 10. Because the main reason for me it felt like Washington is PI part 2. I know that that like Washington loot is distributed better, but for me Washington felt like PI too. Um, you know, just a normal city. I, I mean I play on Washington probably more than any of these maps anyway, but for me, I prefer PI, 
Like people always ask me, what's, what do you prefer, PI or Washington? I always go with PI. And uh, yeah, Washington isn't that bad, but I wouldn't give it a 10, okay? So next we have Yukon. Now there's a lot of mixed feelings about Yukon. Me personally, I wouldn't put it terrible as there. I'll put it one to five or five to seven. Probably I'll give it a five. So yeah, we'll give it a five. All right, we'll put five there. All right, just five to seven. I don't really play this map, but I understand that it's different than all the other maps. So it gave it like a survival core into it, I guess. And uh, yeah, Yokon five to seven. People might think it's terrible. People might think it's 10. For me, it's just um, a mixed-ish feeling kind of map. So yeah, that is where Yukon will stand for now. So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I did this tier myself. And if I missed any maps, just let me know in the comment section below. And I will reply with, you know, with my answer. Even if there are curated, like, workshop maps. For example, I don't know, um, Overgrown. I'll give Overgrown probably a 7. You know, and yeah, thank you all so much for watching, guys. Bye. If you guys want to support the channel and want to become a member, make sure to click the join button below. And from there, you guys would unlock a bunch of perks. And yeah, thank you.